Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tuesday and we've got some exciting things going on today. Finally, Baz's new enclosure is coming in. So I ordered this massive cage for him, like a custom built cage, six weeks ago. And that rang went this morning, so finally it's coming in today. Um, what else we got? We got a uh, workout, we got a workout coming up. I put the uh, gym here. So me and Rexy boy might train some back or shoulders or something. Um, and then if we get time, we'll go down to Malibu Beach and uh, hang out there, get some lifestyle photos. We've got a new merchandise uh, releases coming out. So we're gonna get some of that and um, probably go get some food or something in between. So stay tuned, there's a lot coming up. Uh, what's going on guys? It's time for my morning weigh-in. Now I know a lot of you have noticed that I've lost a lot of weight since my injury, um, which is kind of, it's very hard to keep the weight on. But uh, I'm gonna check in now and show you guys what I'm weighing in at. Um, maybe you can leave, have a guess before in the comments how much weight I've lost or what I'm weighing now. Uh, a clue, before I had my injury, I was about 245 pounds, about 245 or 248. I've got this new scale from Vita Goods. It's called the FormFit scale. Uh, they sent it to me a couple of weeks ago to track my weight and, and to help with my fitness goals. Uh, it tracks your body weight, your bone density, your body fat percentage, and your water weight as well. So it's pretty accurate. Um, also, they've given uh, me a discount code for you guys to use. So right now it's a super good deal, 67% off using my code CVM, uh, and you get a huge, huge discount. This one-time deal. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below for you. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, turn it on. Here we go, pull it out a bit. All right. Yeah, I'm at 207.2 pounds. So, there you go. That's a, that's a loss of almost, uh, almost 40 pounds. But you know, that's, this, this is part of the, this is part of the process. Steps, I've decided, and uh, maybe a little bit of bicep too. But let's see how we go for time. Little combo, little lap pull now. With
this exercise is a seated row machine. I really like it because you've got one, two, three different grips. Um, it's a good substitute for barbell bend over rows, which I love doing, but uh, I'm just avoiding them at the moment still with my leg not up to speed. So this is a great exercise, it's very isolated. You can change your grips, so I'm gonna do an under grip to focus on my lower lats and get a good pump in there. So. So right now I'm doing uh, close grip lat pull downs. Sorry, give me one moment. Um, close grip lat pull downs, um, followed by the under grip seated uh, machine rows. Just change the angles, helps get the, uh, your lats, your, your wider lats, get a good pump in the middle of your back too. So just changing the different different uh, variations of angles and grips um, is how you're going to get a good overall uh, developed back. So i going to do three sets here, and then I'll do some seated rows, close grip seated rows, and that'll be the back row. So two wide grips, seated uh, wide lat pulls, wide rows, and then close grip lat pulls and close grip seated rows. So you get the whole thing. Set here and then, um, let me think. One more mat, maybe like a, a close grip bench press. Do three sets there, and I'll do some isolation. Some <laughs> That's all good. Here we go, bud. It's a pleasure. All right, Drew Drew, let me see this. Are you ready? Yeah, one, look, 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 Stronger than my, my bench press.
approximately 10 hours later. Okay, that's good. Yep. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I think. Okay. You know what? This is a moment of truth. We have finished the enclosure. much he weighs 13 I think 13 I think it's 13 pounds now yeah. so he's put on I've had him I've had Rick's for five weeks and he has bulked up he's doubled in size his little frying pan paws he's got some he didn't have any of these belly spots when I got him he's all white so now he's got all these belly spots his nose was all pink and now it's it's gone kind of black there's a little white spot on it and he's got black spots behind his ear see there we go. And he's put on like five pounds, so he's grown, little pig. And his teeth, well they're still as sharp as ever. He's still got his baby teeth. So hopefully a few more months and they'll, they'll start losing them. That one's a little bit, actually that one's a little bit, he's chipped that one a little bit. That's alright, because he'll, he'll lose that anyway. His paws are good. 